Are you struggling with acne? Well, you are not alone. In Western countries, about 85% of adolescents suffer from acne at some point. And it's not only younger people, close to half of those in their 30s still struggle with this skin disease. But it does not have to be this way. In many populations around the world, acne is practically non-existent. Acne is often preventable and not a harmless part of growing up. It is a skin disease revealing underlying pathological processes in the body. While acne itself is not life-threatening, the underlying processes can lead to diseases that are life-threatening. So if you suffer from acne, take it as a sign to work on your overall health. And in the end, acne might save your life. Underlying processes. Surely not every pimple is a cause for concern. You might have an allergic reaction, not practice proper hygiene or experience side effects from some kind of medication. But if you are struggling with acne over a long period of time, take this opportunity to learn about the underlying processes to improve your acne and your overall health. There is a close link between the pathological signaling pathway called mTOR and acne. The mTOR signaling pathway stimulates growth on the one hand, it overstimulates the growth of sebum producing cells and their fat production, playing a direct role in the formation and severity of acne. On the other hand, it plays a major role in tumor growth, increasing the risk for certain types of cancer. It also plays a role in many other diseases like type 2 diabetes, obesity and depression. Diet-driven mTOR pathway the pathological signaling pathway mTOR is mainly driven by the consumption of the amino acid leucine and high insulinogenic foods. Leucine is an essential amino acid, so it needs to be part of our diet, but we should not overeat leucine. At best, we should just eat the recommended amount. This means we need to watch our protein intake. The protein hype in Western countries is literally killing us. The recommended intake of leucine is about 4 grams per day. Plant proteins contain about 7% leucine. Animal protein about 9%, including dairy proteins containing over 10% leucine. This means that you reach the recommended intake of leucine with about 60 grams of plant protein, but just 45 grams of animal protein. And the more protein you consume, especially dairy protein, the worse it gets. Let's take a closer look at the link between protein intake and acne. To prevent the overstimulation of mTOR, which leads to acne, we want to keep our leucine intake low at about 4 grams per day. The typical daily protein intake on the Western dietary pattern is around 100 grams, about twice as much as recommended, more than half of that coming from animal protein. Thus, the typical leucine intake is about 8 grams also twice as much as recommended. To get the leucine intake down and close to the recommended level, the overall protein intake needs to be cut and plant protein sources should be preferred over animal protein sources. For example, 60 grams of protein from predominantly plant protein sources. The worst offenders in terms of leucine content are animal products high in protein like whey protein powders, other dairy products, meat and eggs. The best foods in terms of leucine content are whole plant foods, low in protein content, like vegetables, fruits, starches and intact grains. mTOR is also stimulated by high insulinogenic foods. Insulin is secreted in response to the ingestion of carbohydrates and protein, especially animal protein. The combination of carbohydrates and animal protein in dairy products leads to the highest insulin secretion. This explains the strong link between low fat or skim milk and acne. Highly processed carbohydrates like flour products and sugary foods are also high insulinogenic foods. They should be consumed rarely and alongside fiber rich whole plant foods to blunt the blood sugar and insulin spikes. High fiber whole plant foods like vegetables, fruits, especially berries, intact grains and legumes are all gentle on blood sugar and insulin. 
Starches like potatoes, sweet potatoes, pumpkins, etc. are also super healthy, but are best eaten alongside the other whole plant foods shown on the left. Let's summarize. One major cause of acne is the overstimulation of the mTOR signaling pathway. mTOR also increases the risk for certain types of cancer, type 2 diabetes, obesity and depression. mTOR is stimulated by the intake of the essential amino acid leucine and high insulinogenic foods. The recommended leucine intake is best reached by eating the recommended amount of protein and preferring plant protein over animal protein. For example, 60 grams of predominantly plant protein. Dairy products are very high in leucine and they are also high insulinogenic foods, especially low fat or skim milk. This explains the close link between dairy products and acne. Flour products and sugary foods are also high insulinogenic foods. Fiber rich whole plant foods like vegetables, fruits, starches, intact grains and legumes are gentle on blood sugar and insulin, especially as part of a high fiber meal. Thank you so much for watching. Did you know about the mTOR signaling pathway before? Do you want to know more about the link between diet and acne? Please tell us in the comments. See you in the next video.